Let's make this basket really pretty with some fabric bees. Hey everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy, if you didn't know. And if you did, thank you so much for coming back. All right, so I have this basket. It's from Hobby Lobby. And I have this fabric. I got it from Walmart. It's like a jelly roll. Now, they have these cute little bees. And all I'm doing is rough cutting around each of the bees. And I'm cutting probably, I don't know, seven of them out. There it is. Adorable. They also have these um, other strips. They're like honeycomb. And I just cut it kind of in half and ripped it so that it was a raw edge. Then I took some fabric Mod Podge and I'm just putting some on the center of this. Now I am not going over the top of it when I put it on and the reason why is because I don't want it shiny. I want it matte if that makes any sense. So see I've done this and if you're curious I have a piece of wax paper on my table just to protect it because I am messy. <laughs> So what you'll see here, I just, and this piece of fabric is cut to the length of the width of my basket. Does that make sense? And the basket is like a rope kind of um, basket fabric. So here we go. And I don't know, if I were to do this again, I don't know that I would put this around this, around it again. I don't know that it adds anything, but you know, it's fine. And I just see how I just all the way around and then just overlapped it ish on the end. I like it with this rough look, but if you don't like it, then just cut it straight and just make sure that you're trying not to fray the edges. I'm using a foam brush just to press down the fabric so that it goes into the nooks and crannies of the basket. Easy peasy. It actually is quite fun, I gotta be honest, and it makes me think about doing all sorts of other kind of fabrics on a basket. Um, we've done this before with napkins, and I thought, let's see if it would work with fabric, and it and it does. I feel like it works well. Um, again, I am trying to make sure that I have a, a nice fringy kind of frayed kind of look, but, and the end obviously I didn't put enough on <laughs> so I had to go back and fix it it's fine that's the nice thing about this kind of project is you it's very forgiving like if you mess it up you didn't really mess it up you just kind of you know put some more on the Mod Podge on and move the fabric a little bit it's fine but there we go and I'm using my finger also to make sure that it's really adhered again I'm not sure how much I don't know tell me in the comments if you like this honeycomb part or if you feel like nah, it wasn't necessary almost feeling like it wasn't necessary. All right, so here are my little bees, and I'm using a sanding block just to make the edges really fringy again, and I put some of the fabric Mod Podge on the basket, and I made sure to get in the nooks and crannies. Then I put a little bit more on the back of my bumblebee fabric, and then I put that on there. And again, I do the same process where I use a brush, and I just try to get in the nooks and crannies. And again, I'm not doing it on the top because I don't want it to be shiny. This fabric Mod Podge has a tendency to be shiny on the top and I wanted it really rustic. My main goal, I gotta be honest with you friends, my main goal for this, yes and I did one in the middle, but my main goal is to make some mug rugs, stay tuned for that, um, and put the mug rugs in it. So and I thought it needed something so I did a little fringy raggy kind of bow on the on one of the handles and that was that. Is it perfect? No, but I'm digging it kind of, you know. Anyways, friends, thank you so much for watching, and I hope this inspires you.